Good morning guys, this is Jonathan with Bob CNC. Welcome back to Getting Started. Today we're going to be going over the rectangle, ellipse, and triangle features in Basic Cam. So to start off, we'll go over here and we'll click on our rectangle icon. Now as before, you have an X center and a Y center. This is going to be where the rectangle is positioned on the grid when you create it. Next we have our width and our height. Again, these will be the dimensions of your rectangle. We have a quarter radius, which I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create it to be zero, just for illustration. Okay, so now we don't have a corner radius, so it's just going to be a regular 90 degree on each one of these corners. Go delete that. Now we want to go back. So again, we have a quarter radius. Now I want a corner radius of 0 0.25. So imagine having a circle on each one of those corners instead of it just being a regular square. So let's say you had a circle that was half an inch. Well, the radius of that and what that curve would be is going to be what this is. So I'm going to add a quarter inch radius, and it's going to add a quarter inch radius. So again, this right here would be a half inch circle, and this part, this segment right here, has got a radius of a quarter inch. So what we can do is we're going to delete that. Now what we can also do is we'll go back and we can invert it. And if we invert it, then it does the same thing, but it creates a radius on the inside of that corner. Okay, so we're going to delete that. Now next, we're going to do the ellipse feature. Now that one is pretty simple. Again, you have your X and your Y, and then you have your width and your height, which we can then create this ellipse right here with your width there and your height there. But we can then, you know, we can go back and change that. Let's say we want it to be skinnier, and then we want it to be a little bit taller. Then we can, of course, make a, a different size ellipse with a different orientation. That one's pretty simple. Next, we're going to go do our triangle. Again, you have your X and Y center. You have your base, the left side of your triangle, and the right side of your triangle. Now, this is the formula for a regular right-sided triangle which we can then create here. But we can go back and delete. Let's say we wanted to make one that all of the sides were equal. We can change that. And of course, then we have this kind of triangle. Now, one disclaimer is that the center is not going to be exactly centered, but it's going to be pretty close. The center is somewhere around right here. Anyway, that is it for today. Hope you all have a good day. See ya.